It's Alex Mills making start number nine. To launch it a little bit more often, he'd probably be capable of uh, 30 plus home runs in a full season. In the middle of the zone and hit pretty well, but for an out as Hayward will chase it down. Bewildered by the changeup. Runs into the shift. That is Kipnis to make the play. Last night, swing and a miss. As Mills strikes out Hira. Fogelback back strikes out swinging. Oh, the fastball right by him. Two seamer in her half up a little bit. Here it is. And a liner out into deep center half. Makes a grab on the warning track. I missed his spot, but he got away with it. And a round of applause from Mills to half. Look how big the eyes get for Jerko, man. <laughs> they were trying to crowd him. And that ball out over the plate and down a little bit. He gives it a good ride and half in hot pursuit. One quick peek to find the wall, then back on the baseball. Well done. Right, right matchup. They're going in. And on a bounce played by Kipnis, so two complete NFL games were played at Wrigley Field. Caught strike threes. This breaking ball coming in at 76 miles an hour. We talked about how Mills will flip a mid 60s curveball up there every now and then. That's strikeout number three for him. 3 1 on Nottingham. Here it is. And a ground ball to Kipnis. This will be a quick one, two, three for Alec Mills. Hope to see you back here at Wrigley Field when it's safe to return. Caught by Schwarber as Yelich lines out. So like a little more of a separation. Ground ball could be two, should be two, is two. Yeah, taking advantage of uh, you know the sloppy play by the Brewers. So Alec Mills has been outstanding. Now he's got a huge cushion to work with. Baez caught it in the air. That's a line out. Hayward and right. So Alec Mills leading nine nothing as a no hit bid through five. The first pitch of the inning is a ground ball rolled to second base and Eric Sogard is out number one. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Strikeout number four on the afternoon for Alec Mills. He goes upstairs with a heater to get Ottingham. On the ground. Cody let it go. And Baez fires just in time. Backhanded play. Bodie got him. Here comes Hayward. Great pitch. Yeah, infield pop up. He's going to take a no no into the eighth with a 10 0 lead. This is getting fun. Uh huh. Easy pop up foul territory. Caratini the grab. Ground ball, backhanded Baez. He gets him two away. Popped up on the infield, David Bodie. Woo! Let's go to the ninth inning. The undercard is the top of the ninth. The main event still to come. All kinds of Mills family and friends glued to their television sets, no doubt. With sweaty palms. Stay in here. Rizzo will make the catch. One away. <laughs> the one two serve. He got him swinging. Two down. Uh, earlier in the game, there's a couple opportunities to throw the fastball inside, and he, he couldn't quite execute the pitch. Lately, he has been able to do it. Pop up of Jerko back in the seventh. 
Fastball in on the hands. Here's another good runner down and in. Gets the chase. He is one out away. Deep breath. Three balls and a strike. Up the Got middle. Baez has it. It's a no hitter. The former college walk on has made history in Milwaukee. What a great moment for Alec Mills as the Cubs win the ball game 12 to nothing. Well, a great weekend for the Chicago Cubs and a great day for Alec Mills and the Cubs. Millsy with this great command all game long. There's only a couple hard hit balls all game, and he finally gets on a 3-1 pitch, a ground ball to Baez, and that was it. A no-hitter for Alec Mills. Congratulations. His first complete game as a big league pitcher, and I would say he did it in fine style with a no-hitter, the first one by a Cub since Jake Arrieta did uh, have a no-hitter back on April 21st. 2016 in a game at the Great American Ballpark against the Reds. It is the 16th no-hitter in Chicago Cubs history. Right-hander Alec Mills makes baseball history here at Miller Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin.